Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a fun one because we are going to be playing with the new Fenty Beauty Hydrating Poutsicle Lip Stains. I don't actually know what they're called. I should probably get my PR sheet. I literally do that every single time. I like jump the gun and I get way too excited to film the video and I don't even know what anything's called. So these are the Poutsicle Hydrating Lip Stains, a vibrant lip tint with all day juicy hydration. I'm really excited about these. That's all I really have to say. It comes in four shades. This this video is being filmed a little bit late because this went to my old address so I had to like you know find time to drive over to my old address which isn't particularly close and pick it up but I'm so happy I did so it comes in four shades berry banger which is a berry my type instead of my tie and that's like a brightish pink I wouldn't say a hot pink but like a brighter pink the shade strawberry sangria which looks like a true red and then zesty bestie which looks like kind of like a really bright orange there's a quote at the bottom from Riri herself it says make is all about play and when I was developing this lip stain I had so much fun this product just hits different you get that sexy wet look shine and your lips feel super hydrated but this tint I'm excited this is like the epitome of summer on the back I do have some clients um, especially bridal that are going for that more you know blotted down but still kind of a pop of color look for summer I even have some brides that are wanting to do that if they're used to like rocking a vibrant lip, but they're kind of wanting to tone it down for their wedding. So I think I am gonna save these for clients, but like, I'm still gonna try them. I'm just not gonna go directly in with the applicator on my lips. I'm probably gonna put them on a pre-sanitized palette and use disposable applicators to swatch these just to keep things hygienic for my clients. And I don't wanna have to like repurchase them and have like a set for myself, unless I really love them. But if I wanna put these in my kit, I wanna have the option to do that and I don't wanna be wasteful and purchase two sets. I found what I did with the lipsticks. I put all of the lipsticks in my kit for the Fenty Beauty lipsticks that are so beautiful. I've been loving them, by the way. The ones that come with the case and the refillable actual lipstick bullet. What I've done is I took all of the shades, depotted them and put them in a palette. And then I purchased the one shade that I knew I was most likely to use. And I put that in the case that I was sent. So that way I had one for me, but it wasn't being super wasteful. So that way I could, you know, use what I was sent in my kit and then also kind of, you know, still have one for me. But it's not like a bright red that I'll never wear. It's like the nude shade that I know I will wear most often. And I've been loving it and it's been working out really well. So I think I would do the same thing with this. I will put these in my kit and then if there's one uh, particular shade that stands out for me, I'll just go buy that one. But for now, I wanna test them to see if I even like them first. So yeah, I'm so excited. I was really looking forward to these and I haven't opened them, have not sniffed them. I don't know what the packaging looks like. I don't know anything. So this is like a complete first impression. Okay, um, I'm just gonna, you know, open the first shade that was on top, which is the shade Berry Banger, and just so we can kind of see what the packaging looks like and everything. Ooh, that's not what I was expecting, but it's pretty. I don't know what I was expecting because I did see the Trend Mood promo photos, but I've completely forgot about them and like what they look like. So this is what the packaging looks like. It's an opaque, almost like lip gloss tube. It feels nice, it feels high quality. Okay, it's pretty basic applicator. It's a doe foot like sponge tip. Um, it's more elongated and oval. They don't really have a scent, which I would prefer no scent than like a crappy scent. So that's fine. Oh, also they have the color on the top, which is kind of nice. So you can see what color you're grabbing if you happen to buy all four. I wanna see how much these retail for because they did not really have any info on the card. So these retail for $30, which is insane. Everything is just so much more expensive nowadays. Okay, so $30, how much product do you get? 6.5 mils of product, all of the Shades are vegan and cruelty free. So on the Sephora site, it describes it as a lip stain that goes on glossy and leaves behind a soft tint, delivering rapid hydration for an effortless low maintenance look. I'm a low maintenance queen when it comes to makeup, so I'm really excited for this. There's no parabens or phthalates. I think I already said, but it's cruelty free and vegan. Uh, available in a range of vibrant shades, this feather and bleed resistant formula quenches lips immediately and all day. It features an oil in water innovation with squalene. Oh. How to use, apply one layer at the center of lips and work outwards. Okay, sounds easy enough. I am very excited. So I'm gonna remove this lip color and then we can kind of get into swatching and applying and playing with this product. Okay, so I'm first gonna start out with shade number one. Actually, here, I'll zoom you in. There, now you can see better. I'm first gonna start with shade number one called My Type and it is described as a pink on Sephora. These are actually all sold out, which I found 
a little insane. So the formula is rather thin. So this is kind of what the formula looks like. It is decently thin, but I wouldn't say it's like runny. Ooh, pretty. This is less vibrant than I was anticipating. So this is what it looks like in a swatch. And I will go ahead and apply this to the lips. That's really pretty, ooh. It's uh, pretty liquidy and kind of cooling, like you can feel it drying. It's pretty easy to work with. I would say it doesn't like dry down right away. It's definitely comfortable. It's less sticky than the ColourPop lip stains. Those ones kind of um, on initial application, like you can feel your lips sticking together. I really like that, that's so pretty. This is how I expected it to look on the lips. I don't know if it's just because like I applied more or because my lips already have pigment, but it definitely does appear a little bit darker applied to the lips than to the hand. And I've only had it on for like a couple minutes and when I go to wipe off the product, you can see that the stain has already stained my lips. Okay, next up I'm gonna go in with the second shade which is called Zesty Bestie. Fenty describes this shade as a coral. Mm, that's very pretty. I would say it's definitely more of an orange toned coral. Yeah, I wouldn't even call that a coral. I would call it an orange, but maybe it'll apply differently on the lips. So that's the shade Zesty Bestie and my type together. Now we can apply this. It might appear coral because my lips are already stained pink. It definitely appears darker I think because of the previous stain. I feel like this is a product that is not meant to be swatched consecutively after each other. It looks pretty dark, honestly. This looks definitely more like a red. I think it's gonna be hard to see the true swatch now that I've already applied one on top of the other, so. That is the shade Zesty Bestie. I love that name, that is so cute. And I am using like a makeup remover to remove this. I'm not just using water, I'm using micellar water. Maybe I should apply some foundation to the lips. I'm just gonna swatch that color one more time now that I've applied some foundation to the lips to see the true swatch of it. Oh yeah. But now this is also mixing with the foundation. So keep that in mind. Very pretty, but still pretty bright. This is, again, the shade Zesty Bestie. Take two. It's really pretty for summer. Okay, and the next shade is called Strawberry Sangria, and this one is just described as like a red, just a true red. So that is the shade Strawberry Sangria with the other three shades. That is so pretty. I feel like mixed with the foundation, it kind of looks like the first shade, but I think, you know, without the foundation, I think it would definitely be more of a deep red color. Just kind of looks a little pink because my foundation's so light. But that is also really pretty. That is the shade Strawberry Sangria. Look how stained my lips are. Also, it is important to note with lip stains that any texture you have on your lips, as you can see, I have a little bit of a scar up here. Um, I always find those do stain a lot more. You can see that the pigmentation here is a lot more than it is on the other sides of my upper lip, so. And lastly, we have the deeper shade called Berry Banger. It's like a deep purple berry. It looks almost like an eggplant shade on the palette, but I think it will sheer out. But that's it right there. It looks really dark. Oh, it actually looks a lot more neutral when swatched on the hand. It does not look nearly as dark. That's the shade Berry Banger. Of course, it will look pretty different on the lips. Oh, that's so pretty. I feel like this is what I wanted the ColourPop Fresh Kiss formula to be. Nice and smooth and not sticky and comfortable. This one's a bit dark for me right now, I think, because I'm very much in summer mode and also for this look, but I think that's a really, really pretty shade. And on deeper skin tones too. I also like that all of these shades could be used on deeper skin tones because they do really show up. They're not super sheer or anything, so I... I don't know, I just really like these. First impression is that these are a hit. I love them. Okay, so this is the current lip color. I just applied um, ColourPop's Glowing Lip in the shade Botanicals over top. It really deepened the color because the base of my lips is so dark now. I am going to work today, so what I am gonna do is I'm going to, you know, take off all of my makeup before work, and then I am going to just apply one of the lip stains, and I can see how long it stays glossy for, see how long the tint lasts, and all that kind of stuff. And yeah, the next time Time I see you will be when I'm testing that out. Okay, you guys, so I have been working. I took the rest of my makeup off and then just reapplied this product. In the meantime, I also developed the biggest pimple of my life. So I have a little pimple patch on there. So please disregard. I put this lip color on about an hour and a half ago and I feel like it doesn't 
feel glossy like at all it doesn't even feel like there's product on my lips but there is still like a bit of a shine which is kind of nice it still almost looks like i'm wearing a gloss but there's no like it does not feel like i'm wearing a gloss at all it is very very comfortable i feel like i'm almost wearing nothing yeah so i will keep you posted on how long the tint stays but the actual glossy feeling it really doesn't have much longevity i would say about the hour mark the glossy feeling kind of went away at that point but it still does look quite shiny doesn't look like a full gloss but it looks like a blotted gloss so yeah i will keep you guys posted on how long the actual tint itself lasts and yeah that's my first update i really hope that they come out with more shades like something that's a little more neutral like these are great for summer but I wouldn't rock a pink like this every day. I would like something a little more nude. The thing is, I don't know if they could like get the tinting aspect with something that's more neutral, if that makes sense. But I would really like to see a your lips but better color in this formula. I think that would be like fantastic, like a range of kind of nudes that have a little more color. You know, something that's not red, pink, orange, berry, that kind of thing. I would really like to see that. That would be awesome. Also, one thing I wanted to mention is when you're applying it, it's really important that you stay super precise because there's not a lot of wiggle room for cleanup with this product. Of course, a little bit, like you can use some concealer and such, but it's pretty important that you apply it neatly and not too messy. I do find the applicator is really nice because it's skinny and it's really quite good for, you know, creating some precise lines. So I didn't really find that to be an issue. So yeah, this is my first check-in. Looks pretty shiny after an hour and a half, but there is no shiny or sticky feeling. Thumbs up from me. Okay, my friends, so I have now been wearing this for four hours, I think. Um, first of all, I got a little nervous and I picked off my scab here. I'm a little embarrassed by it. Um, so that's not part of the tint. That's just like me picking at my lips till they bleed. The rest of the tint, I feel like it's still kind of there, but it has worn off for the most part at this point. That being said, I did eat peanut butter, which is oil-based. I had some butter, which is oil-based. Just because it's so hot today, I've been drinking a lot. I feel like my camera's crooked. Yeah, so I've been drinking a lot of like lemonade and water and drinks and all that, as you can see by my hair. <laughs> It is really humid and hot and this is not the best I've ever looked on the internet that's for sure but I think the tint is like slightly there but like not really but I think that's a pretty good wear time like I don't wear my lipsticks for this amount of time so the fact that it's lasted this long through eating and drinking and lip picking apparently I've been rubbing my lips a lot just out of nervousness it's like a obsessive compulsive behavior that I have so yeah since it's held up through all that and I'm still comfortable like I feel like I need a little bit of lip balm but that's not unusual for me throughout the day. Like I don't think it dried my lips out. It was hydrating when I had it on my lips and then, you know, as it faded, it didn't dry them out, but they didn't remain super hydrated. So it's not like a lip mask situation, but it doesn't claim to be. So like that's completely understandable. And I think it was comfortable and hydrating for the time that I had it on. So overall, I would give this product an A plus for my first impression, which is crazy. I just uh, hope they come out with a few more neutral shades. I know I already said that, but something like a little more toned down not neutral but not quite as like bright so i think those are my final thoughts and that's everything for this video i'm sure it was a quick one but i just really wanted to get up a first impressions for you guys first impression is i love these i love them even if they don't last a long time that's okay with me i would rather my lips not last a long time and have to reapply than be super uncomfortable wearing like a matte liquid lip personally i've always been a gloss girl like a tinted balm i love them and now i love these stains I think they're great. I found as I wore the color pop pretty fresh and pretty no, it's not pretty fresh. What's their fresh kiss lip stains? I found them more to be like uncomfortable than anything else. So I'm hoping that this will be like a really good replacement for those and I'm really excited to have them in my collection. The only thing I would wonder is if you, you know, apply the product and then the moisture part fades, leaving a stain, and you reapply the product, does the stain get deeper each time you would apply it? I would assume so, but I don't know for sure. That would be kind of annoying because I'd kind of want it to be consistent with the main color that I've selected. I guess if you lose the gloss finish, you could always just like apply like a clear gloss over top or a lip balm if you kind of, you know, just want to 
hydrate your lips but still keep the same color that your lips are stained I guess if that makes sense overall these get a big thumbs up from me I am super excited to keep playing with them and yeah I think that's it for me today thank you so much for tuning in and thank you so much for watching if you've made it this far please don't forget to subscribe if you want to if you don't that's okay I just really appreciate you being here it helps out my channel so very much by you watching so thank you please leave any video requests you may have in the comments down below and I'll see you in my next video bye guys